welcome to 18 before the year 2021. My scripture today is 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. Now, this has been a great experience to experience dealing with fear not being a part of our lives. And as fear tries to come in, no, perfect love casts out all fear. I'm trusting in you for everything that you do. And that as we launch into 2021, we are leaving 2020 behind. We are launching into a fearless new year about everything that God has in store for you. And we're going to see God manifest himself in our lives in a greater way. We're leaving all fear behind because perfect love gets rid of all fear. Stay tuned for tomorrow for number 17. Thanks so much for joining me today. I just want to tell you, give you a couple of tools because tools are very important. A couple of tools that will really help you as we go through the year. Number one, I recommend the Bible. Get a good translation that you can read and understand. My preference personally is the Passion Translation, which I love, especially my personalized purple one here. And I love that one. And But I have some other ones that are really good. Daily Declarations of Faith. And it's 365 declarations of faith speaking over you many different areas of your life and speaking blessings over you. Another one, Prayers and Promises for Financial Breakthrough. This particular book God has used in many people's lives to see them literally get out of debt. I mean, supernaturally get out of debt. Husbands and wives, they'll, one will read it one day, the other one will read it the next day. And by the time they got to the end, there was so much supernatural provision in finances that they were like, this is absolutely the most amazing book we've ever read. It's a step-by-step, -step, more in the area of faith and building up your level of expectancy, which is really good. This one right here is prayers and promises for healing. If you need healing, I encourage you to spend time reading his word. And it's just filled with promises of God wanting to heal you. And these are great ways to start off every day. Not only hearing from me, but also getting into whichever one you want to really get into. You can actually do all three, but primarily don't forget the word because the word is what will sustain you. God bless you.